Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know, um, I was going to do a video on this. I just wanted to wait a few days to see was this video going to pick up a lot of steam? Was people going to talk about it? How much momentum it was going to get? And as you can see, I go to the gym every day. It's funny how they was talking about the 14-year-old uh, Hispanic young man who got shot by the police even though they had video footage of him dropping the gun and he technically did have a gun on him which he dropped the gun and he shouldn't have been shot but that story got you know picked up nationwide but see they ain't talking about this story because once again it defeats the narrative that they've been trying to put out Send that, send, send this video to Juju Chang and the other lady who were putting out these videos saying that black people were targeting Asians. And don't come on here talking that hey, town, this this we're we're all one and we're this divide. Hey, go to hell, go to hell. Don't try that with me. That don't work on me. Like I said before, the people that came on my channel and that that was debunking it and said, hey, this is not true, thank you. And I've talked about the people that said, hey, this is being blown out of proportion and we really don't have proof that it's a hate crime, I thanked you. But I'm not finna ignore something like this, especially when this affects me and people in my community. Especially when you try to harm a child. He was a child. And it's no excuse to justify that. Even though on my other channel I talked about what happened with that with that young Hispanic man who was gunned down in Chicago. Even though it, even though they had footage that looked like he had a weapon, even though even though he, he had a weapon and he dropped it, he shouldn't have been gunned down. He should have been given a chance to surrender. But you notice this story ain't going viral. And we need to call the news stations and tell them they need to talk about this story. But see, they don't want to. Because like I said, you got to understand the media, the white ran media is all about pushing a narrative and pushing a, a agenda and not being fair with their journalism I don't think there was no noise ordinance ordinance in Michigan but this happened in Michigan I don't know I, it might have not been too far from Detroit because I know a lot of Detroit cats was saying they was ready to pull up on dude now I, I heard that the dude has been taken back into custody and he have, he's been uh, possibly recharged but he should be charged with attempted murder because that's basically what he did he attempted to kill a six year old child who was riding his bike and then I'm going to get to what people were saying in the comment section and this is why I keep saying to black people we don't have no allies okay we don't have no allies. What people was actually saying in the comment section. I'm going to get to that later. But there was an Asian man in Michigan that shot a six-year-old boy who was playing with his friends and fired it through the window. Didn't even open the window, fired through the window. And he hit the boy in the arm, but luckily the little boy is gonna be okay, but he still might have to get some some kind of counseling because if I was the father, I'd take him to at least get some counseling because that's traumatic. Why why is it that this dude should be charged with attempted murder? He should be considered to be charged with a hate crime.
man attempted to shoot a six-year-old boy. And I give the daddy patience. I give him credit for his patience. Because, man, had he did that to my kid, he might as well not even, he might as well not even come outside. He might as well have moved because I would have been waiting for him as soon as he would have got released from, released off of bail. He wouldn't have even have made it home. It is no reason to justify you shooting at a six year old boy, a child. And like I said, I notice a lot of mainstream media ain't picking this, this story up, but we need to force them to talk about this. Send this video to Juju Chain and, and, and a couple of other uh, uh, Asian, Asian media. I've seen articles where they were blatantly accusing black people of attacking them. Like I said, I didn't live in California all my life. I didn't been everywhere. I didn't been to a lot of different places. And like I said, we don't even be thinking about them enough to like to attack them. But see, the media is all about demonizing black men and using demonizing a black man as a distraction to get away from real issues. Like systematic racism, you know, the prison pipeline, you know, reparations. Now it's funny, you ain't heard nothing from from Cam Cam or Jim Crow Joe. You ain't heard a damn thing from them. But yet, once again, and I'm gonna go in on all you niggas that was trying to shame black people into supporting them. Joe Biden ain't no different from Donald Trump and that's just the honest to God truth. And I think a lot of people see it now, but it's a shame people won't admit it. It's a shame black people won't take their L. And it's a shame that these handkerchief head black people would rather, you know, be mute about the situation than speak out and call the president and the vice president out on ignoring this issue about crimes that's mean being committed against us, where people mean us bodily and deadly harm. Nobody wants to talk about us when it happens to us. Okay, George Floyd was a big story. But George Floyd is just one of many incidents that happened with us. But like I said, ain't nobody ain't nobody talking about this. This isn't nationwide. And I already know that you may have some of the black man haters sit up there and ignore this story because they all about pushing an agenda. And like I said, that father is real patient. And then you have the stupid people talking about, you have some of this stu these stupid uh, black uh, feminist KKK men. Why are they talking to the daddy? Because that's his damn daddy. Y'all need, some of y'all black feminist neo-Nazis need to get over y'all self. I'm glad that the daddy spoke this time. Because according to a lot of people, we don't exist. And then they gonna be some that's gonna say, well, why is he talking about he wanna, you know, uh, do something to that dude. That That's what he's supposed to do. Play. He's supposed to play it smart. He shouldn't sit up there and say, oh yeah, I wanna do something to him. Because then they gonna be watching him. And if that dude do something to the dude that shot his kid, then they, they gonna make it all about him. Y'all need to understand how this works. And a lot of y'all been around long enough to understand how this works. Now, like I said, I'm gonna do a part two and I'm gonna talk about the celebrities that have ignored this story. And I'm gonna talk about these black handkerchief head politicians because I'm gonna group them all into one category and call them out for the cowards and the coons that they are. But like I said, this man should be charged with attempted murder and he should be, be charged possibly with a hate crime. I promise you, had that been a black man that it did that, 
this would be all over the news. You'll be hearing these uh, talks about, well, you know, gun control is a serious issue and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and I want to say another thing. To you motherfuckers that came on my channel talking about, well, don't praise the governor too much for like, like, hey man, don't come up. Don't come on my channel with that bullshit. I didn't say get yeah, to do the metal. I'm just talking about Second Amendment rights. Don't come on my channel with that bullshit. If you one of them type of people that complain about every goddamn thing, say the fuck off my channel. You missing the whole point. I'm not talking about giving the man a medal. I'm talking about Second Amendment rights being protected. You missed the whole point of the video. So don't come on my, my channel with that bullshit no more or I will block your ass. Anyway, it's your boy Town Biz, I'm out.